fucking amazing. So we are revisiting Ginger. Now I've featured these guys on the channel quite a few times now. Um, usually Lindsay gets in on Ginger with me, but unfortunately she's not able to record right now. So it's just going to be me going solo. Um, I've been asked for a while to do these guys again. So I think it's about time that I got another video and I feel like this one is the newest one that I could find three months ago, like the last release of music video. And although I don't mind doing tracks that um, don't have a music video, I just feel like it's something better for me to watch and for you guys to watch if you're not familiar with this band or if you've not seen or heard this song yet. But I'm quite eager to listen to them. Ginger's one of them bands though for me that I don't go out and like seek the music if I'm on Spotify or something. But yeah, I wouldn't turn the music off if I listened to it, if that makes any sense at all. So let's not waste any more time. It's a pretty long mu uh, music video, so let's get straight into it. So this is Ginger with On The Top, the official video. Let's hope it don't get blocked. That's two Napalm fucking bands in a row. Napalm have got a tendency to block these fucking things. So uh, you could have two days without video. If you've seen this, it worked. Three, two, one. It's a fucking heavy one. I don't mind the soft songs by these guys, but I do prefer the heavy ones. Nice little groovy beat there. Ah, I will. Fuck the shit out of that woman. Not even because she's good looking as well, I just think that she's fucking like, looking real. That 
jacket is definitely going to need to be washed. Ginger with on the top. Now, like I said before, ginger are usually hit and miss with me. But I feel like this is slap bang in the middle. Like I don't particularly really dislike it, but I don't particularly love it. I feel like it wasn't the best song I've heard from these guys, but I also feel like it wasn't the worst, if that makes any sense again. I love the energy that that they have. Uh, definitely love the vocals. The vocals for me are always on point. The best part about this band. Um, it's Although they don't have like a set structure, I feel like if they did a in a few of the songs, it probably would make more sense to me. Um, I do like the off-tempo songs and some of the songs where you just don't really know where it's going to go. But for the fact that with this, it was like almost confusing and how things transition to another thing, that was the only downside for me. Other than that, I love the fucking bass that these guys put in every song. It's fucking prominent and you can hear it. And uh, it stands out amongst like the rest of the instruments. When you find that in a lot of songs, the bass gets drowned out by everything else. But these guys seem to turn it up a lot. And you hear it and it's very prominent. Absolute riff fucking central. Love the riffs in every track that they've released. Even if I'm not even a big fan of the track in a whole, the riffs are always disgustingly fucking sexy. So I love that shit. Overall, great track. Not my favourite by these guys, but it's still definitely be with it. Cheers. <sighs> Cheers. <laughs> 